Hallelujah. Shalom, people of God. I want you to share this video with someone who you know that needs a blessing in 2020. Please share this video with them. All right. I want you to think about this now. 2020 is a centennial year, meaning that this only happens once every 100 years. And we're going to be alive in 2020. And Yeshua's name will be here to witness this great event. Very significant event. Only happens once every 100 years. Most of the people that were alive in 1919 are not alive today to witness this. There are still some people. I'm sure there's some people that are over 100 years old still alive today, but not very many. All right. All right. Now, 1010. Let me let me let me share this with you. 1010. Elmer of Malmesbury attempted to create his own airplane and fly. That was done during the centennial year. We thought the Wright brothers was first, but no, Elmer was first. He did it in 1010. Try to fly his own glide. I don't know how successful he was, but that happened in 1010. In 1111, the Crusaders, led by Baldwin I, took over the city of Tyre, or you can say Tyre, or however you want to pronounce it. That city is one of the oldest inhabited cities in the world. Very significant event. Baldwin I went and took over that city in 1111. Very significant. In 1212, there was a decree made called the Golden Bull of Sicily. That decree confirmed Atacar I as the king of the Bohemians. And he was the first Bohemian that received kingship, and he was accepted into the Holy Roman Empire, which at that time was the holiest empire on the earth. In 1313, Louis the Bavarian defeated his cousin, Frederick I, in, the ba in Austria at the Battle of Gamelsdorf. Very bloody battle, very sad battle, very significant battle. 1414, the Council of Constance began. During the Council of Constance, it lasted four years. It began in 1414. Jans Hus was burned alive at the stake for his belief that the Catholic Church should not charge people for salvation. Apparently, they were doing it back then. A hundred years later, came along a man by the name of Martin Luther. Check him out. Study up on him. He got his teaching from the teachings of Jan's Hoof. He reformed. He was the first Protestant. You know the story of Martin Luther. But he got his teachings from the writings of Jan Hoof, who joined or who was a, a very significant in 1414 for the starting of the Council of Constance, all right? 1515, Frederick, Frederick of D'Orleans was crowned king of France. His father had not been a king. So that means he reaped where he had not sown. That means he was born out of due season. He was uh, inherited the kingdom from his cousin who didn't have a son. He reaped where he had not sown in 1515. 1616, Pocahontas, very famous name. Pocahontas went to England in 1616. She never returned to America. She died the next year. She's only 20, 21 years old. She died in England the following year. But in 1616, she went to England. This woman, this Native American woman, was very instrumental in the founding of Jamestown, the oldest city in America. She saved the life of Captain John Smith, who's known as one of the founders of the oldest city in America, Jamestown, Virginia. Pocahontas was paraded around England as the civilized savage. Oh, they said these savages can be civilized. We can tame them. Really? In 1717, Bishop Benjamin Hoadley preached the message, and he called this message the nature of the kingdom of Christ. In this message, he deduced to the fact that the kingdom of Christ or the body of Christ or the church of God should not overrun or overrule any government. This is 1717, the first message preached about the separation of church and state. 1818, Venus oculated Jupiter. What do you mean? Oculation is when one planet overshadow another. Now, Venus is the second planet from the sun. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the sun. Jupiter is much larger than Venus, a whole lot larger than Venus, but the shadow of Venus overshadowed Jupiter in 1818. Scientists say this won't happen again until 2065. That's about 40 something years from now, until 2065. But from 1818 to 2065, that's a long time, but it happened in a centennial year. 1919, very significant. The most famous preacher, the most sought after preacher. In 1919, his name was Smith Wigglesworth. This brother raised 14 people from the dead. He had many, many verified miracles. He restored the faith of a man who started the organization, first started and known as the Christian Revival Society, later changed to the Christian Mission, 
finally named the Salvation Army, William Booth. Smith Wigglesworth personally financed the Salvation Army for several years. 2020, the year of redemption. Now, 20 is a number of redemption. 2020 is what the, um, I would say the optometrist world or the world of optometry called perfect vision. Or if you have 2020 vision, you won't need these. So in 2020, that's perfect sight. That's perfect navigation. 20 is a year of redemption. That means things are going to be redeemed. One scripture said he's going to redeem what the canker worm has stole. He's going to redeem all these things back to us. So I decree, I declare that 2020, I will receive perfected health. I will receive perfected finance. I will receive perfected relationships in 2020. Why? Because I understand biblical numerics and I understand the times and seasons are known by God and I receive my time in 2020. Will you receive it? Send this video or share this video with somebody. If you know someone who needs a blessing, you know someone who needs encouragement for 2020, please send this video to them. All right? Baruch Hashem, Yeshua HaMasir, Hasa Shalom. Peace.